you better get ready. 2022, the year of God's orchestrated divine breakthrough for your life. You know, when I started in the ministry, uh, after two years, I went to Lady Brand, and many of you know this, Little Church. I moved to Lady Brand. I had a vision uh, to be an evangelist and um, to preach to thousands of people, and God called me to six people. Six. That's where I started. I never even knew there was a place called Lady Brand. Oh. <laughs> Pastor Cello. Hallelujah. Brandy Land. Hallelujah. Anne Brandland. And every morning, because I was struggling with thoughts of quitting. I tell you the truth. I'm not lying to you. I was 22, 23 years old. I thought, what in the world am I doing here? I preached my heart out these 10 people. Then 23. For years. I thought about quitting every day of my life. I thank God I never did. And my mind said, why don't you just go into business? Why don't you just be a tither? Just, this is not worth it. Lady Brown. But then I connected with God and God gave me a vision. And revival broke out in that place. And, and every time that I felt like quitting, I would go into a place and I would pray. I wouldn't talk to people. Because when you feel like quitting, don't talk to people. Because people are going to say, oh, shame, my brother, I understand. It's difficult. It's hard. Wee. <laughs> Let's just weep together. No, if you go through a tragedy, I'll weep with you. But life, life knocks everybody. Every human being has challenges. And the greatest challenges are those between our minds. And other people can't find them, fight them for us. So we have to make it out for ourselves. And then you have to go and become resolute in your decision, if it makes sense. You have to ad ad adapt an attitude of fortitude, fortress. I shall not be moved. Come a hell or high water, you have to become resolute on the inside and stand your ground. And then listen. People will come and try and talk you out of your dream. The minute the quit is over, people will come and say, he has an opportunity to move you out of God's place. Remember, the palace is not the place where God builds your character. It is the place of suffering. It is the place of loneliness when you wrestle with God where you will find God and you will find yourself. You will not find God in the palace. You will find Him in the pit. You will find Him in the prison. Then when you get to the palace, your ego will not control you. You will serve the purpose of God. Come on CRC, let's climb like never. Come on South Africa, let's climb like never. Come on my brother and my sister. Make up your mind today to be resolute, to be determined, and to be a climber and not a happy camper. I love you.